That's not good enough! That's not 801! Why won't it work? Combine the DNA sequence with the cocoon's biostructure! Find another subject! Use Carla for the next pass. She's a close match. Be careful what you say around her. I don't want her catching on. Yes. Yes! This is it! She may have left me, but now I have her back. Happy birthday. Ada. Wow. Now I get it. Hmm. Alright, welcome back to Resident Evil 6. In this video, it appears that our doppelganger has been defeated. This is something that we saw from Chris's uh, campaign. We saw that a mysterious chopper kind of started to come down and then uh, just shot her. So there's one guy in here, we're going to want to try and stealth him. There we go. That was about as stealthy as I can I can tolerate right now. And in this locker here, there is a serpent emblem. Don't think there's anything else in this room of any value, so let's get up on out of here, and then we're gonna have some interesting stuff going on here, gang. Alpha team, this is HQ. We've confirmed that Wong was telling the truth. There's a fully armed aircraft carrier in open water not far from your location. Satellite imaging indicates they're getting ready to fire missiles on the mainland. It's imperative that you stop them from launching even a single one. Copy that, HQ. I don't condone your actions, Carla. But at least now I understand them. Your hatred for Simmons drove you to tear down the world they created. But it was your conscience, Carla, that saw you fail. After all, isn't that why you brought me into this? It's a shame. If you had only sought vengeance against Simmons alone, I would have helped you.
break it to you, but you're nothing but a cheap knockoff. At best. Rest in peace, Carla. All of that dialogue could have been really, really cheesy, like, yeah, I'm gonna take over the world, I'm gonna turn it into hell. It could all be really, really hokey and cheesy, but the voice actress does a really good job. Like, I believe her. I believe that she's gonna, you know, turn the world to shit. I, I really love Ada's voice actress in this game, she's really good. But, uh, this is one of the most obnoxious parts in the entire game, this is one of the few... Actually, no, this is the only, like, really, uh unique things that Ada gets to do in terms of, like, bosses. But yeah, Carla kinda went a little crazy. Not that she wasn't already because she was looking like Ada. But, uh, there's gonna be things in this area called Carla Spores, which are pretty much just gonna be, like, Carlas that get birth from the ceiling. And they chase you, they're really hard to kill. And, uh, pretty much, here's one right here, Carlos Spore. These guys are nearly impossible to kill, so don't bother trying. Yeah, see, she's not even reacting at all to any of my arrows. These parts are tense because I, I don't like anything chasing me in a video game. And that goes for, you know, unkillable Carlos Spores. Should be another one right around here, yeah. See, can we drop anything to make that herb? There's also hands on the wall. They will periodically grab you if you get near them. This is going to come into play later on into one of the worst sections of the entire game. What I would consider probably one of my least favorite parts. Probably probably top three least favorite parts. The other two would be uh, the driving section with Chris if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and the Roscoe Plunge part with, with Jake and Sherry. Now see, this is tense because you really have to turn the wheel. That was a weird sentence. You have to turn it really fast and make sure that the Carlos spores don't get you. And yes, that is a reused animation from Jake and Sherry, you can tell, because there's no one actually there for Ada to be looking behind. So here we have one of the more obnoxious serpent emblems to get. There is a giant Carla face on the wall. You can see it there. You can't really do anything against it, and it'll try and grab you. What you need to do is you need to lure it out, and then kind of get to the side of it. And then you can hopefully get that Serpent Emblem there. Whoops. Figured I might be able to get out of there without getting hit, but that was not the case. Yeah, I'd actually have to go ahead and say that's one of the hardest Serpent Emblems in the game to get. Well, it's not hard, it's just annoying. And, um, I think that was actually the last Serpent Emblem in the level. They pretty much put a lot at you in this area. But yeah, the, the Carla faces are probably the worst part. I think that's, you know, you just you blow those guys up and, and it kind of freezes her f really quickly and you can damage her. Yeah, they're pretty much just used in this area to just run away from her. I hate that animation because it's very clearly something from Jake and Sherry's campaign that Ada has no use for because she has no co-op buddy. Because that's like when you're running away from the the Ustanok and uh, Jake is waiting for Sherry to go through the door. Here's the most annoying part in the game. You have to run down this corridor while a giant sh uh, Carla face is chasing you, but you're always going to get grabbed by at least those. And then something happens right here, where, Car or where Ada uh, stumbles, and then you're going to get killed. It is the most annoying thing in the entire game. I spent a good ten minutes recording this section, trying to get the perfect run where I didn't die. It's not even about getting a perfect run, it's about just not dying. And you have to position Ada in the most perfect way, uh, so that she doesn't stumble on that one little thing. It's that there. That is the most obnoxious thing in the entire game. 
And then uh, you better hope that you have ammo for the ammo box 50, because they automatically equip you with that in this section. So yeah, we are now done with what I consider to be one of the most obnoxious parts in the entire game. It takes less than 20 seconds to complete, but it's really, really annoying. In, uh, in this room here. Nope, there's no one there, Ada. There's never gonna be anyone there. Stop looking behind you. Anyway, in this room, we have to, uh... <laughs> we have to, uh... Face off with Carla. That joke's gonna make sense right now. <laughs> get it? Because there's a giant face, we have to face off with her. You get it, it's a funny joke. So what we have to do here is we have to use some form of explosive to cut through her face and then uh, hopefully we can see the uh, the things on the other side there it's just the liquid nitrogen there you gotta you gotta you know shoot through her face and get the liquid nitrogen you tried so hard to destroy the world now you've destroyed your body I hope this is what you wanted I think that boss is fairly self-explanatory it's not very hard all you have to do is just shoot the uh, liquid nitrogen and you're fine and that's that's it that's Carla Seriously, she's done. She's out of the story. I figured she'd be a lot more important. She's not.